Okay, um, so that I watched on Friday, and then I returned the disc, and then I got a whole bunch more discs, and I've watched a few of them. Still have a few more left that I got from uh, Videodrome. The first one I watched was Permanent Record. Here is Keanu Reeves' face on this DVD. Um, it is about a, and I guess this is in the trailer, so it's not too spoilery, but basically it's a bunch of teens in Portland and in the late 80s. And um, the main one is played by Alan Boyce, who's not in a lot of other things. He is popular and smart and has a future going for him at a music conservatory. And um, he's the only one of his friends who appears to be driven and knows sort of what he wants to do with his future. Except he's clearly about to have a mental breakdown and no one is listening to him. And there's all these warning signs that he's not well and no one is listening. His best friend's not listening. The uh, principal at his school's not listening. His guidance counselor's not listening. No one's listening. And then he commits suicide by jumping off a cliff. The rest of the film follows the various teenagers, the lead of which is played by Keanu Reeves, trying to deal with the aftermath of his death. Um, it could almost be seen as like the counterpoint to Heathers where um, Heathers is a satire of teen suicide and the stress of teen suicide and and um, the way that the teens in that school deal with it. And in this one, it's very much a serious film about teen suicide and about um, the stresses of of trying to figure out what, what your life is at 18. Um, it doesn't quite work for me. I think there were some pacing issues. It's, it's a very slow film, but it didn't feel purposefully slow. It just felt like slow. Um, there are some great performances, though. Again, Keanu is amazing. Keanu is always good, but he is particularly soulful in this film. Um, and there's a scene where he is talking to the parents there's a couple different scenes but there's one scene where he's talking to the parents of his best friend who has killed himself um he's drunk and, and upset and he just breaks down crying saying you know i should have known i should have known um and it's my fault and it's just really a heartbreaking sequence um there's some other good performance performances in it by jennifer rubin she's very good michelle my my may rink she's uh, also quite good, and um, Pamela Gidley. Pamela Gidley is um, Teresa Banks from Twin Peaks, so if you're a Twin Peaks fan, you see a really great performance from her. And there's a, a cameo at the beginning with Lou Reed, and I'm just like, where did Lou Reed come from? What Was he recording in the um, Pacific Northwest at that time? I had no idea. Uh, this is directed by Marissa Silver. She is Joan Micklin Silver's daughter, but she also has directed several great films on her own, including one of my faves, um, Old Enough. And it's um, written by uh, Jari Fees and Alice Little. And um, I'd say it's not, I don't think it was quite as effective as Old Enough in its um, portrayal of, of teendom, but I definitely think it captures the angst of senior year of high school way better than a lot of films do because um, there's true stress that happens on kids at this age. And there's definitely too much um, put on deciding your future at, when you're way too young. And um, this film does a really good job of navigating that and navigating the various different ways that people deal with grief after the death of a loved one. Um, my only, Really my only complaint is that it, it feels, the pacing just feels a little off. And I don't know what I would suggest to make it flow better, but there's just, there's just, it doesn't quite work. It just feels a little stilted at times. But this is Marissa Silver's permanent record, and it's on DVD. So you can check it out that way. Um, I think you can rent it on Amazon as well.